Eye drops have been an essential medication for years to aid in eye redness, swelling, and visual disturbance. However, a drug-resistant bacterial infection found in eye drops has led to serious injury and even the death of one person. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has identified 68 patients across 16 states with a rare strain of Pseudomonas aeruginosa that had never been seen in the U.S. prior to this breakout. According to the CDC, most patients diagnosed with an infection use eye drops and artificial tears. Ten different brands of eye drops were identified as possibly involved in the incident, and the CDC warned people to stop using Esri Care and Delsum Pharma's artificial tear products. In February, Global Pharma, the Indian company whose products are distributed by Esri Care and Delsum Pharma, had to issue a voluntary recall after an official recommendation from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Symptoms of the bacterial infection include yellow, green discharge, discomfort or pain, redness, blood vision, and sensitivity to light. Last week, a Florida woman sued the pharmaceutical company, alleging that she contracted an infection after using the product, and doctors had to remove one of her eyes. Her attorney blamed the infection on a lack of preservatives in the eye drops. However, an Esri Care representative stated that tests have not shown a definitive link of the outbreak to the product. Unopened bottles are now being tested to ensure they are not contaminated during production. The CDC recommends anyone who has used the recalled products and is experiencing symptoms to contact a doctor. Pharmaceutical companies had distributed eye drops and eye wash products to more than 117 million Americans in 2020, according to Statista, a market research firm. The latest outbreak shows that medication recalls are essential, and medical practitioners and patients should take the necessary precautions before using any product, especially medications that are directly administered into the body. As such, Patients must adhere to the guidelines and recommendations of the CDC and FDA. It is of utmost importance to monitor the quality control measures during the production and distribution process to ensure the safety of the public.